The Conroy Virtus was a proposed American large transport aircraft intended to carry the Space Shuttle. Designed, beginning in 1974, by John M. Conroy of the Turbo 3 Corporation, it was to incorporate a pair of Boeing B-52 Stratofortress fuselages to form a new craft using existing parts for cost savings. While the project was seriously considered, it proved impractically large and NASA chose to develop the Boeing 747-based shuttle carrier from surplus commercial aircraft instead. Topic history The Space Shuttle was originally designed to use onboard turbofan engines for propulsion within the atmosphere on re entry and for ferry flights between landing sites, such as Edwards Air Force Base, the White Sands Missile Range, or contingency landing sites such as Easter Island, to the launch site at Kennedy Space Center at Cape Canaveral. When the air breathing engines were deleted from the shuttle design due to cost and weight concerns, a requirement arose for a transport aircraft capable of carrying the shuttle from landing sites back to the Kennedy Space Center. One early design for a shuttle carrier aircraft was proposed by John M. Conroy, developer of the Pregnant Guppy and Super Guppy oversized cargo aircraft, in cooperation with the NASA Langley Research Center, named Virtus. A contract was issued for design and development work in 1974, expected to cost US$12.5 million each. Virtus was a twin fuselage design powered by four large jet engines. It was intended for these to be Pratt and Whitney JT-9D turbofans. Conroy proposed extensive use of off-the-shelf military parts in the design to reduce costs, this included the use of fuselages from Boeing B-52 Stratofortress strategic bombers to form the aircraft's main fuselage pods, added to a new wing and tail section. The Space Shuttle Orbiter would be carried under the center section of the Virtus aircraft's wing, between the fuselages, other large cargoes, including the Space Shuttle external tank, the Space Shuttle solid rocket boosters, or dedicated cargo pods, could be alternatively carried. The Virtus design was tested in the NASA Langley Wind Tunnel. While the results of the Wind Tunnel tests were considered promising, the drawbacks of such a large design, including the cost of developing an entirely new aircraft, Aircraft, flight testing the design and the sheer size of the aircraft requiring the development and or expansion of infrastructure to support it, militated against further development of Virtus. The Lockheed Corporation, which had proposed a twin fuselage version of its C 5 Galaxy airlifter to carry the shuttle, also saw its proposal rejected for the same reasons. A more modest conversion of existing C-5s was proposed and nearly taken up by NASA but it was determined that having aircraft continually available was preferable to being restricted by the United States Air Force on the use of C-5s and a proposal by Boeing for a conversion of the 747 airliner was selected, becoming the shuttle carrier aircraft. A proposed commercial version of the Virtus design, named Colossus, also failed to gain any further interest, and the Virtus design was abandoned. Topic: <laughs> Specifications. Data from Lowther 2012 General Characteristics. Wingspan: 450 feet, 140 meters. Wing area 22166 square feet 2059 3 square meters aspect ratio 9 max takeoff weight 850000 pounds 385554 kilograms power plant 4 times Pratt and Whitney JT93A high bypass turbofans 45800 lbf 204 kilonewtons thrust each performance cruise speed 300 miles per hour 480 kilometers per hour 260 knots range 3000 miles 4800 kilometers 2600 nmi service ceiling 35000 feet 11000 meters topic see also antonov and 225 mriya scaled composite strata launch c5 shuttle carrier related development 
Boeing B-52 Stratofortress aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era Myasishchev VMT Shuttle carrier aircraft External links Conroy, John M. February 28, 1974. Feasibility Study to Consider an Aircraft for the Launch and Air Transportation of the Space Shuttle Orbiter. PDF. Turbo 3 Corporation.